Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. This guide shows you how to stop Microsoft from upgrading your Windows 10 to Windows 11 automatically. Now all you need to do is be logged into Windows 10 and back to this screen here. Then click on the start button and then type on your keyboard Reg Edit. That's R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Then after a little while under Best Match, Registry Editor should appear. Move your mouse over it click the right mouse button, then move your mouse over Run as Administrator, and then click the left mouse button. The screen may darken and then you'll see, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Well, make sure it says Registry Editor just there, and make sure that the verified publisher is Microsoft Windows. If that matches, move your mouse over Yes, and left click once. Now, if like mine, this start menu hasn't disappeared, just click on the start button a couple of times and there you go, it disappears. Now, if like me, you've been in the registry editor before, then you might find you're at the last place that you was at when you went in there. So all you do is just press the home key, the key on your keyboard, and then we should go back up to the top. So let's just do that. And there we go, we're back up to computer. And now what we need to do is we need to find H key local machine, that's there. And then we need to scroll down to software and click on the little arrow just to the right of software. And then we need to find policies. So let's just find that, there you go, policies. Click on the arrow just to the left of policies. Find Microsoft, click on the little arrow just to the left of Microsoft and then find Windows and click on the arrow to the left of Windows. And finally, we're looking for Windows Update. Now, if like me, you don't see a Windows Update in this list, then what we need to do is we need to right click on Windows just up here, then move your mouse over New, and then move your mouse over Key, and left click once. And then just type Windows with a capital W, and then update with a capital U. Then press enter or return on your keyboard. Then if you see target release version in the right hand pane just here, then you can just click on it and enter the number one in the value data field. Then select okay. But if like me, you don't see it, then we need to create it. So all we do is just right click anywhere in this blank area here Move your mouse over new, and then go across to D Word 32-bit value. Move your mouse over that, left click once, and now we need to type in there with a capital T, target, and then a capital R, release, and then with a capital V, version. All one word, no spaces, just as it's shown on the screen. Please make sure that you spell this correctly because if you don't, it could cause all sorts of problems with your system. Once you've triple checked this, then press enter or return on your keyboard. Then double left click on it, enter the number one in value and then click OK. Now, like before, if you have target release version info in the right hand side of the screen, then just double left click on it and you need to type the version number for the latest version of Windows. At the time of recording this video, the latest version is 21H2. So you need to enter that in the value data box. But if you're watching this video later on, then you need to find out what the latest version of Windows 10 is and put it in that box. And you may have to return to this key on occasions to put in the latest version of Windows 10 as it's released so that it keeps getting updated. So it might be a good idea to save this video in your favorites. If you don't do this, then you'll actually be stuck on the latest version of Windows 10, which as I say is 21H2 and Windows won't progress any further than that. So if like me, you don't have a target release version info in the right hand side, then move your mouse over any blank area there, click on the right mouse button, move your mouse over new, go down to string value and left click once. And then you need to type target with a capital T, release with a capital R, version with a capital V, 
and info with a capital I, just as it's shown on the screen. Double check it, triple check it, make sure that it's 100% correct because if you enter it wrong, again, you could trash your system. Once you're happy that you've typed it incorrectly, press the enter or return key on the keyboard, then double left click in it and type in there the latest version number of Windows 10. Now, if you're not sure what the latest version is, go to Google and just Google what is the latest Windows 10 version and it will tell you. And when I've gone on to Google, it says to me here, the latest release of Windows 10 is 21H2. That's at the time of recording this video. So I'm gonna type that in, but that does mean that when updating Windows 10, this is the last version of Windows 10 that will be installed on this computer. So that's why I say it is important to keep a copy of this video or bookmark this video so that you can come back to it. And as new versions of Windows 10 are released, you can actually come in and change this figure to the new version. So for instance, probably in April 2022, version 22H1 will come out. So what I would do is I would come back to this key here under Windows Update, double click on Target Release Version, and I'd change that to 22H1 to allow it to update to the latest version. But for now, like I say, the latest version is 21H2, so I'm just gonna stick that in there. And then all I need to do is click on the cross just up there, and hopefully, Windows 10 should not upgrade to Windows 11 automatically. It also won't upgrade to latest versions of Windows 10. You will get security updates for a while whilst they support your version of Windows 10, but you won't get Windows 11. Now, if you decide that you do finally want Windows 11 installed on your computer, then once again, click on the start button, type reg edit, on the keyboard, move your mouse over registry editor just on the start bar there, click the right mouse button, then move your mouse over runners administrator, click the left mouse button, click on yes on this box here, just click on the start button a couple of times to get rid of that, and you need to go down and find this Windows update again, and then you can delete both of these keys here, the target release version info, so just right click on each of them, left click delete, click on yes, and there you go, your copy of Windows 10 will automatically upgrade to Windows 11. That's if your system is compatible with Windows 11. Now, please bear in mind, not many systems are compatible with Windows 11 if they're more than a couple of years old. So uh, don't just assume that uh, your system is compatible. If you want to, you can go into Windows Update and find out. So you can go to click on the Start button click on the settings cog just there, scroll down, click on update and security, and Windows Update will probably tell you here whether or not your version of Windows is compatible with, with Windows 10. As I scroll down, there you go. It said, this PC does not currently meet the minimum system requirements to run Windows 11. Get details and see if there's anything you can do in the PC Health Check app. So at the moment, this copy of Windows isn't gonna be automatically updated to Windows 11 anyway. So there you go, hope this guide helps. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released, hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.